Recently, I played with three different products that allow you to use soft pastels on different surfaces. I'm gonna show you what they look like, how they compare, and how they perform in use. Lastly, I'll wrap up by sharing my thoughts. Let's go. Starting with the one I usually use, Pastel Ground. chance to focus in there. So you can see this is pretty thick. Right there. And let's apply it to the board. You can see the ridges left from the brush pretty easily. That's how it looks when it first goes on and this is how it looks after it dries. Very ridged. If you use a different brush and apply softer strokes, you can smooth it out, but it does like to leave ridges straight from the bottle. Next up, fine pumice gel. This one is also quite thick, straight from the container, but has a slightly different Oh, translucency, I guess, is what you'd say. Let's apply that one to the board. That's how it looks straight from the bottle when you first put it on. And this is how it looks once it's dried. The ridges are a little finer than they were with the pastel ground. Last but not least, clear gesso. This one, as you can hear, is a lot more liquid. I'll just look at it in the cap here. But it does have a bit of thickness to it. Hopefully you can see that. Will it focus? And on the board, it goes on like this. So a little smoother when you first put it on. Doesn't leave quite as thick a ridges, but you can see up here, you can definitely feel those a little softer and the texture is a little rougher. To keep myself on track for this experiment, I made myself a test grid. I looked at things like dilution rates. What did the grain look like? How did it take an alcohol wash? Did it take a rubbing or a burnishing? Also did some combining of the different products just for grins. Let's look at each one close up. Here's my old standby pastel ground. One thing I noticed in doing this experiment is that the pastel ground has a slight warm tone to it when seen on this dark board. Um, I've not noticed it in the final works before, but I typically with those used a warm underpainting. So it kind of blended in, didn't cause any problems. But um, you can see here what the grain is like. It's not too rough, but not as fine as some of the others. It took the washing with alcohol and burnishing with a piece of foam just fine. Did not lose any product. There was no flaking, but you can see it definitely left ridges until it got down to about a 50% dilution rate. Clear gesso. This is one I'd not played with before, but I'd heard lots of people talk about how they would used it with soft pastel. So it's definitely about time I tried it. Um, had just a little bit of ridges forming, but not as much as the pastel ground. It was, not surprisingly, the most transparent of the three. And as far as thinning it down, um, it's pretty thin to start with. It's the stuff in this bottle that you can hear sloshing around um, straight out of the jar. It is pretty smooth. And then interestingly enough, adding water kind of made more ridges, although I can't feel it as much as I can see it took the wash, alcohol wash, and foam burnishing just fine. 
not much different than the uh, pastel ground and the grain is just a little well actually you know they feel it feels about the same maybe a little rougher than pastel ground let's look at fine pumice gel of the three it was the most dimensional so left the biggest ridges even down to a 50 percent dilution rate um, dried just as clear if not clearer than the clear gesso the texture is a lot finer than the other two so it didn't grab as much pigment when i did my tests over here but it took the wash with alcohol and the burnishing with foam just fine. To make this a more well-rounded test, I used each of the grounds in a demo type piece of art. This one is pastel ground, this one is clear gesso, and this one is fine pumice gel. Let's, I'll zoom in and we'll talk a little bit about each one. All right, let's talk about this bubblegum pink swirly thing. This is the um, usual, the pastel ground, and I did some layering of the gr pastel ground in different areas. I did my original sketch, developed it just a little bit, and then did a kind of a flood layer of pastel ground. Then, once that had dried, I did another layer just going over this pink swirly thing to see if I could get a little dimensionality out of it. And I did just a little bit. Let's see if it will focus on it. You can kind of see in these areas, there are some ridges. Now, once I had that initial layer down on the pink, I did another layer over it just to further enhance that. And it did definitely give me more dimension. That was something new I hadn't played with before, but with these thicker ones, it definitely added a lot. And like, these were all 100%. I did not dilute anything. Let's talk about those roses. This is the clear gesso. And I only did one layer. I, I laid down my, um, my lines did just a little bit of value development and then a layer of that clear gesso and then continued to develop it and it's definitely you know got a rougher quality than the uh, commercially made paper i'm used to but i think there was enough tooth there to develop the forms and i'm actually happier with it than i expected and it's something i will probably work more on later in doing a larger piece last but not least the leaf this one is the fine pumice gel and with pastel on top of it you can really see those ridges uh, they were hard to uh, work over with this one i also once the flood layer had dried i came back and just tried to hit some of the edges of the leaf and the veins and it didn't hold as much as the first one with the uh, pastel ground, but I only did one additional layer, whereas the other one I did two, so maybe that would be the difference. Well, now you may be wondering, which one's best? Well, that depends on what you like, how you use it, what kind of look you're going for. I found that clear gesso was the most transparent. Fine pumice gel had the most sculptural quality to it, and the pastel ground had the best overall texture. Will this change how I work? Quite possibly. I really like the combination of the pastel ground and the clear gesso. It was nice and spreadable. It, without being uh, too thin, but thick enough not to drip, if that makes sense. Um, usually I would use water to dilute and that works okay, but sometimes it's too much water and I've had some trouble with buckling paper in the past. So, and that's all for now. Before you go, check out this playlist where I've got more tips and tools for you.